Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Super Paper Mario, and this is actually, ooh, Grammy, but young Grammy actually. This is the last episode of SPM, entirely, because it's the last extra video. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the maps again. Um, the maps are just pretty much, you know, you just buy the maps, follow the maps, that's pretty much it. I, I know I did the recipes in at Paper Mario, but I didn't feel like doing them in this game, I didn't feel like doing the maps either. And I didn't even do it in, the, in my original, um, playthrough of this. I actually didn't do the maps, I just did, like, a video of showing some of them. Um, but I didn't have a video entirely dedicated to maps, so... No, I decided not to do it for this one, either. Um... And I'm not gonna get all the cards, because that's just kind of insane. I mean, I could attempt to, but I really don't want to. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the final stretch. And I hate the ninjas. Dark ninjas are annoying. As you can see, I've been in peril quite a few times throughout this project, or through, this, through the pit. But luckily I have some shroom steak. Gotta, gotta wonder how you can take a, a shake and make a steak. If you go to steak and shake, you can make some steak and... and well, you have a steak, what's your shake? Not make a steak out of a shake. It's kind of, like, magic. Burn, burn, baby, burn, Disco Bowser. And there we go, key. Or rather, I already had the key, but hole. And here we have some skeletons. And some more. I hate, again, they just decided, like, near the end of this to put the most annoying enemies in, like, one place. Not that the skeletons are all that annoying, but the ninjas are. I prefer pirates. No, actually, I don't. I guess I... Pirate Ninjas is what I prefer. Pirate Ninjas or Robot Pirate Ninjas. Or Chocolate Ninjas. Cho chocolate anything. Chocolate covered anything is great. Chocolate covered pirates. It's the new favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah. Burn. Burn. But um... What else has been happening in the world of the world? Not much, really, actually. I mean, some things. I mean, I got, I got on... I mentioned... I mentioned I've been watching anime lately. Um, I've been working on my... I mentioned Call of Duty. I, I hate to talk about my life, because I don't know. Do, I don't think really... I, do, I guess the question is, do you guys care about my life? Um, press A if yes. No, uh, no, it is a question. I guess my thing is, does it get on your nerves if I talk about my life, or, or what would you want me to talk about? Would you rather me talk about how Bowser has a pretty nose? Um, you know, I'm not sure, but I've been working on my senior project, which is kind of a Flash-type game, um, or Flash-type game, rather, a game made in Flash. Uh, action script, I'm using Action Script uh, 2, actually. I was um, using 3, I decided to go to 2. I probably, I don't know, I, I'm not really... Basically, I want something to get my code, my game to work. I'm not really a coder. I'm more of, you know, an artiste. So, um, you know, if I was to work on future games, I would probably maybe have a coder. But I don't know. Um, I'm gonna. I it probably now say, and everyone's like, "Oh, I want to see it." Well, first of all, it has to be finished, and I, you know, I'm, I could post it when I'm done with that at the end of the year. Hopefully, assuming it's good and not like a piece of crap. I don't like posting things that are pieces of crap because I don't know. I mean, I want to be. Pro I want people to enjoy my stuff, and if I'm proud of it, then they're more likely to enjoy it. If I like it, then they're more like to likely to like it rather. Um, but then again, there is of course stuff that I don't like that people have liked um, of my stuff. Or like, there's times where I'll be looking at something and be like, ah, I don't like how that looks, and I was like, Oh, I love how this looks. And it's like, really? I I kind of think the opposite. But you know, people people are strange like that. And not time to make use of these catch cards. I need the Koopa. Is that like a? Oh yeah, it's, it, it doesn't matter if they're on the broom. They're still just dark magic Koopas. And I don't have a key. I want a key. And of course they're gonna be under there. But yeah, it's been fun with that. I have to get you know working on. Doing more. Repetition is the best way to just get better at stuff, which I need to do more, but, you know, it's hard to get repetitious when you're so picky with how things look. The curse of wanting things to look 
as perfect as perfectly possible. But perfect isn't a possibility, unless you are Gaston. Then it is. Then it's just, just a way of life. He, he is perfection. But, um, Gaston or any, any, any manly man in anything ever. Manly men doing manly things. Um... Yeah, these these guys are. I don't know why they put them in here because they're really easy. Then again, I prefer them over the ninjas. Catch card. Now, unfortunately, these guys are a little bit more high defense, and even though he was damaged, he's still not going to get caught. Unfortunately. Die. Come on. Die. Yay. So we're almost at the end of this. As I said, I like the backgrounds in this one a bit more. Also, seems like the colors are a bit like the. I think the walls are a bit darker looking too, which makes sense. It is a darker pit, so it makes sense to make everything darker. But rather, it's the. I mean, it's the flop side pit. Everything is black and flop side. I mean to buy Limbo. It's on Steam now, and I've heard Limbo's good. I still need to face Super Meat Boy for that matter. Um. Again, I just, like I, I said, my hierarchy in one of the videos, my hierarchy for games is handhelds, then consoles, then Steam, or rather computers. So I'm less likely to play a game on a computer than I am to play it on. Then again, I made the statement of, oh, I like using everything on my computer, but, like, not for games, for some reason. Um, I'll, wa I'll watch videos on my computer, but games, I'm less likely to play on my computer. I'm more likely to watch, like, anime or TV shows or even movies on my computer than I am to watch them on a TV screen. So, I don't know, I'm strange like that. Or I'm awesome like that. Take your pick. So yeah, this is this is the last video. Um, I think the project for has been pretty good overall. Um, after this video is posted, the old one is going to be deleted, so I'm going to like lose a hundred videos. Well, less than a hundred, but I'm going to lose like a hundred videos because this one is going to replace it. Um, but it, you know, I've, I've really, um, I'm probably not going to do another remake for a while. As much as like I have, well, like the only remakes I'm really set on doing still are something to replace Wario. Woods, and you know, if you're watching the future, I've already replaced it, so it's not going to really matter for you at this point. Um, because uh, you'll be like, replace Warrior Woods, but he replaced Warrior's Woods. I could do a remake of a remake. I'm not good at this game again because I've kind of had my fill of SPM. Great game, I really don't want to remake this remake. Um, like, one remake's good enough. Once I've done one remake, I really don't want to do another remake. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe later down the line, I'll be like, you know what? I really wish I could redo this redo. Um, that's always a possibility. Um, but yeah, my for projects, I will probably be redoing um, something for Warriors Woods. Probably Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. Um, I'm still iffy about TTYD because of CSS doing that as well. And then. Um, Possibly Kirby's Adventure, and then I could do Minish Cap again. But my thing is, I know it's done in camera or a cam, like a webcam style. I know that's like bad quality, but like I don't know. I I kind of don't mind that being my first Let's Play because I did start with a webcam, and honestly, for a webcam, I don't feel like it's horrible quality. That's a thing to bring up. What's your opinion on webcam LPs? Um, for starting points, not for like everything, but like there's some people out there who are like webcams. How dare they? Like they're the bane of existence. And my thought is, if that's if someone doesn't like using emulators or can't really or don't feel like using emulators or something like that, and all they have is a webcam, if someone wants to start with or some kind of camera, if that's what their starting point is, I don't mind them doing that. Um, I would think eventually they should move up possibly, but like it's a it's a good way to just. First off, A, I mean, to be honest, most people aren't going to watch webcam LPs. Um, I don't really search for LPs all that much, but so I can't really say I found new LPs with webcams that I really enjoyed because I don't really search for LPs. But, um, you know, you know, a lot of people are probably going to not watch webcam LPs, so it's a good place for people to just kind of get used to the commentary style and practice. It could be like it's a, it's a way to draw people away from watching it. But, yeah, I mean, 
I guess I'd rather someone start with a webcam and get better and then move up, as opposed to just starting with pure quality and be, not being good in the commentary as well. But, I don't know. I, I feel like commentary is something you have to just get used to, so I think it's okay for them to start with webcams. Um, I understand people don't like webcam quality, but my thought is, as long as it's centered. Like, you know, most of CSS is, uh, CSS is in my group I'm part of, uh, Crystal Star Studios, I mentioned them quite a bit, but, um, you should check them out, I have a link on my channel for our group channel. But basically, most of us, except for the Pasta King, have, uh, started out with webcams, and I think it's, or webcams or cameras, and I think it's a good way to start, and I think as long as you can try to make it centered, like, I think with Minish Cap, I feel like Minish Cap is pretty... Decent. I mean, I guess the other thing to put in this is, do you think that Minish Cap, if you, you know, obviously you had to check it if you haven't seen it before, but do you think the quality is atrocious and horrible, and, I mean, I don't think it's that bad for a webcam LP. I understand, like, if you have your camera off to the side, or if, like, the picture's upside down, or something wacky like that, yeah, that's, that's, you shouldn't be doing that. But, um, you know, try to make it as even as possible. Granted, direct capture is a better route. I agree, I just, I don't know. I feel like webcam is a good starting point for some people. That's basically my thought. And now I have all the Paper Mario um, partner cards, which is good. But yeah, it's definitely. I definitely feel like. Um, I definitely feel like I, I like. I think it's a good um, start. Basically, yeah, it's a good starting point for some people. And I have the slow course. I could be using, um, what's his name? Um, Piccolo, but I don't really feel like doing that. And yay, level up. Back in the pipe. Only ten more floors or so left. Not too many, much more to go. Um, yeah, but I do want your kind of opinion on that, because actually if I do get a lot of opinions in here, that will help influence if I ever do decide to redo Minish Cap. Um... I mean, you know, I haven't, I still have LPs to, I kind of want to stop redoing for a while because, let's see, I did, no, I haven't done, this is the most latest redo, I haven't done a redo since then for a while, I had, I did, Paper, oh, basically, actually, no, I, really, I haven't done that many, because if you think about it, I started with Paper Mario, I did DK64, 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 Dark Country 3 was my next redo, um, and then, this, and that's really it. That's actually all the redos I've had. I really, because since my start of redos, I actually haven't done... That's my thing, is since I started redos, I actually haven't done that many new projects. I've done, um, Toki Tori, uh, I know I'm entirely not talking about SPM, but I'm fucking kind of relevant, because it is a redo. Um, but I did Toki Tori, um, Chrono Trigger, um, Echo, A Link to the Past, and Harvest Moon. Kind of decent amount, but like, I don't know. I feel like every, a lot of them are long games, too, is part of the problem. But yeah, I really actually haven't re redone that many projects, though. I didn't really have that many projects beforehand that needed to be redone, because I did, you know, I re I've already redone Paper Mario, Talking Country 3, and this, and I my projects before I got, um, you know, I started using emulators were Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, and S not SPM in that order, because then I skipped and went to Wario Woods, which I already said is on my list. And then Wario Woods, and then SPM. And then Dungeon Country 3, which I already did, and then Kirby's Adventure, and then, um, Kirby's Adventure, and then, uh, Minish Cap, and that's all my webcam LPs. So I really didn't have all that much to redo. But, um,. Yeah, it's kind of odd, because it's like, um, uh, thinking about it, it's like, you know, I really haven't really done that many redos, but I feel like I've, that's, I guess because this, this one game is long, and I put off these extras for a while, so I've finally getting, taken care of them just to get it over with, um, but like I said, once, you know, by this point, either, this is, I, I, I haven't figured out, it's not going to be relevant by this point, but I hadn't figured out when I was getting ready for these, how I was going to upload them after my coming back from my break, so I, um, I either would, I, either this is, like, near the end, as in, like, I've already finished Harvest Moon, and this is, like, the last bit, or I'm putting this off, and then Harvest Moon still has to go, but either way, uh, I'll be doing a new project probably soon, so at this point, it's, like, 
I'm definitely going to be doing more shorter and, you know, more, I feel like, a little bit more obscure games, maybe, as opposed to mainstream. SPM's kind of mainstream. But again, most of my games in the past have been kind of, you know, kind of somewhat, you know, unknown, but I don't know. I don't know, feel free to leave your opinions. I should, I probably should change the uh, poll at some point on my moderator module to kind of reflect just gauging interest. I mean, I have the general interest of what game would you be interested in seeing me LP, but, you know, now at that point do I want to add it, so... You know, another thing, I, I'm, I'm giving you so many things you can respond in the comments, which I would appreciate if you wouldn't mind um, you know, giving a comment, but... You know, I don't know. Do what you want. Do what you want, because a pirate is free if you are a pirate. Yar hard. No, okay. But, um... No, but you could, um... If you leave a comment, like, what you think I should put in the moderator module, too. Not something like, you should put what kind of cheese you want us you want to eat. Or, or something, like... To ask a question about how much bacon I should eat in a day, or something. No, I just... Something for gauging interest. Again, not for, like, deciding anything. More of just gauging interest. Because gauging interest is a good thing to do, if you want to gauge interest. Granted, that's kind of the point. I hate those things. Those things are annoying. The the flying things, not the raw bosses. Those are dealable. But yeah, those guys are. The flying things are annoying. Again, they they rarely have the key. They they don't think they ever have the key. Actually, maybe maybe if someone's ever gotten a key from them, okay, well that proves my point wrong. It's kind of one of those things where like you can. As soon as you can see something, well, then it's proven it wrong, but... But yeah, I feel like... I don't think I've ever had a key from them, and I don't think they give keys. <sighs> Die! No, that's not dying, that's killing me. Like, isn't wasn't the pure heart for this black? So I guess, or not black? It wasn't it white? And now it's like the one in the back is gray. So I guess it's kind of somewhat similar. I don't have, I I don't have any healing items, and I don't want this guy to kill me. So let's just use all my items. Not that it's gonna matter, cause it's gonna be like one strike and it does one damage, cause he's special. This guy here. But like, look, it looks like he's the last guy in this room, but I don't think he has the key. Oh, that doesn't even do anything to him. And then he decided to fly up on the ceiling, looking all, being all special. Oh, oh, come on. Ah, yep, there. See, no, no key. So there must be like another one of those. I call them raw buses, but I don't know. There might be like a different. It's a different name of them. There must be another one of them around there. Yay, hick mix. No, really though. Eating oh there he is. Eating cake mix would really suck. It would just it would just be flour, really. Or, well, to an extent, I guess it wouldn't be the worst possible thing you could eat, but it wouldn't be the best either. Um, uh, this is floor 97. Almost there. Hopefully, I won't die. I will admit I'm cutting it close. I should have brought more healing items. Die. I already have the key, but I kind of want to attempt to level up, maybe. Though I don't think I'm gonna have time. I don't, I don't think I'm even close enough. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of needing, uh, that that was very timely. I needed some healing items. I got two for one. It's pretty nice. Well, I technically I guess it was two for two because I killed one of those guys. We're not too well. Yeah, it would be two for two. And dark moth. These guys are easy. This is an easy room to deal with. There's two, I think, here. And they also give you a nice experience bonus, too. Die. Die. Yay. And now you're dead. Yeah, really, Bowser's the best thing to use in this game, because he can just kill anything. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I did enjoy doing this project. I really wish I had done the extra sooner, but I hope you guys have... I, I pulled the th same thing with Chrono Trigger. As much as I said, I don't, I've never taken a break before. I Well, I kind of extended with Chrono Trigger, but I was never nearly this bad. I never took two months for Chrono Trigger off, but um, 
because I kind of still posted it, but, uh, yeah, I really should stop doing games that are long worded and have long side quests or long side things, like this one. Um, just for future reference, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry it took so long on this, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this project as a whole, and I hope to see you for the next project when it comes out. Um, but before I get to the, well, I'm just saying that now because I'm probably, you know, there's not going to be much when I actually finish the pit. But this is the last room before the, you know, okay, get, get the key, get the key, jump over the fireball, just get, get to the door. So, now then, open the door, and... I think that was the last room, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, looks like a game, a game watch, kind of. I've waited for you, heroes. What? Who's that? Who's running there? Yap, show yourself, bub. Uh, photo taking? Ah, uh, you've done well. Your brain is not gone unnoticed. I am a servant of the Asians sent here to give you true power. Past the hundred trials behind you. But whether you are the true heroes of legend or not, it's said to be seen. We've done everything in the game at this point. A new challenge. But I, I don't want to do more recording. You can use this pipe to leave the dungeon, then you can fetch your... Yeah, yeah, so this is why the flopside pit sucks. You had to do it once, and then you had to do it again. You had to do it twice, so that's 300 pits of trials that you had to do total. Um, in the Sam and Samurai Guys Kingdom, it's 400, and that's a great number, but... Yeah, this sucks. So, yeah, you had to go back down for the flopside pit. Um, and specifically, you want the... I mentioned the lovely chocolate. Specifically, you want the lovely chocolate for this. You want it for the second round, and I'm, I'm just cutting ahead, because you only see the pit twice. It, you already saw two different pits, you only see me do the flopside pit once again. What's up, heroes? I should complain. I don't really work for the agents. And so nope, he, uh, they did create him, but they worked for, I work for his own cursed power. And it's Shadu, it's been testing you. So basically, yeah, I, leaving, making us go back through it was to give time for the clones to be made. So, there's now dark versions of us that Shadu is producing. Unfortunately for Shadu, I am going to rape him. And I know that sounds wrong, but like, watch. Lovely chocolate, use it. Lovely chocolate increases your attack and it makes you, yeah, all this stuff. He's dead. He's dead. That that's it. There's no way you can win. Two hits for each thing. Just use it. Um, especially because you might be hurting at the end of the pit, and it's just easier. Now, if you don't want to be cheap, then don't do it. But just, yeah. Shadu can actually, to be fair, Shadu can actually be quite hard. Um, definitely harder than Racktail, but if you use this method, he goes down in no, no time at all. With the power of the pixels, yes, but you couldn't beat the power of chocolate. Bah, did I look worried? No, because you had chocolate. So yeah. And our prize is... If I go in, I guess to dash out so I can go fast. But our prize for being Shadu and being the p pit of Flopside twice is a Mario Kart. Now, what the Mario Kart will... Uh, yeah, you get Mario Kart, Dark Mario Kart, Peach 1, uh, Dark Peach, Peach... Uh, you know, all the, all of the characters and all of the Dark versions. Now, the one thing about the Mario Kart is, basically, it allows you to flip for infinity. Basically, when you flip, your bar doesn't go down. So now you don't have to worry about being damaged by your bar for flipping. Um, now... That's kind of a good reward, but considering all the... You have to go through three pits to get to that, it's not worth it at all. And I wish games would stop doing this thing where they... You know, give you this epic, awesome reward, but by the time you get it, it's entirely pointless. So, you know, it's kind of cool to have it, but it's like... There's no point to having it at this point. So, yeah, but that's the Flopside Pit. Uh, that's SPM, and I am in for 100. And I'm reminding you that... Yep, I have infinitive flipping abilities. And... I'm reminding you that this is a good game, you should try it, it's got, you know, kind of good story, you know, cool environment, some negative aspects, but I am reminding you that I am awesome. Kind of, yeah. Pudding. 